Hi and welcome to another video where we delve into a scenario for the Pharmacy Objective Structured Clinical Exam or more commonly known as the OSCE. In this scenario, we will explore the management of hay fever symptoms in adults. This video provides an example of a pharmacist patient consultation. Let's dive right into it. Hi, I'm the pharmacist. What can I do for you today? Hi, I was hoping to get something to treat my hay fever. I can absolutely try and help. Could you please tell me what sort of symptoms you are experiencing? I've got a runny nose, nasal congestion and some sneezing. I see. Do you have any other symptoms such as a headache, watery eyes or itchy skin? No, nothing else. Have you had this before and have you tried anything for it? Yes, I have had it before. I usually get hay fever around the start of spring when pollen levels are high, and the symptoms typically last for a few weeks. It hasn't bothered me much in the past as it's been mild, however, this time, the symptoms are bothering me and impacting my daily life. A friend mentioned I should see a pharmacist for some advice. I have tried an antihistamine tablet, and it has helped with the sneezing but it has not relieved my blocked nose. Thanks for letting me know. Could you describe how long you've been experiencing these symptoms? It started about a week ago, and it's affecting my daily life. I am waking up during the night because my nose is blocked. I can't even play a game of soccer with my friends in the park because of all the sneezing and nasal congestion. I appreciate you sharing that. Could you also tell me if you're on any medications, have any medical conditions, or allergies? I have psoriasis and it's well managed with a moisturizer. I haven't had a flare-up in months. With only the information that has been provided to you, take a moment to consider what products would be suitable for this patient. It's great to hear that your psoriasis is well controlled. For your hay fever today, I would like to recommend Nasonex Allergy Nasal Spray, which contains nemetasone furoate, a corticosteroid that effectively treats and prevents allergy symptoms. This is a once daily dose providing 24 hour relief. Intranasal corticosteroid sprays, like Nasonex Allergy, provide greater relief of allergy symptoms than antihistamine tablets. Oh, I've heard about nasal sprays. How do I use it? To use the nasal spray, I recommend the X spray technique. Start by shaking the bottle, remove the cap, and prime the pump by spraying it into the air until you see a fine mist. Blow your nose gently, tilt your head forward slightly, and hold the bottle in your right hand for the left nostril, and in your left hand for the right nostril. Insert the applicator into the nostril and aim the applicator tip towards the inside corner of your eye, press down to spray, and breathe in normally for each nostril. Start with two sprays into each nostril, once daily. Once symptoms are controlled, reduce the dose to one spray into each nostril, once daily. Nasonex allergy may take one to two days for the full effect to take place. Use every day for best results. That sounds manageable. Are there any side effects? Like any medication, there can be side effects, but they are usually mild. Most people do not have any problems after using the nasal spray. However, a few people may find that they suffer from headache or nosebleeds. If you have concerns whilst using the product, please don't hesitate to come back and see me. All right, I'll give it a try. If your symptoms are not relieved within seven days, kindly return to the pharmacy for further assistance or consider consulting your GP. Additionally, if you experience nosebleeds, develop signs of a nasal or sinus infection, or you have visual disturbances, please stop the medication and seek medical attention. Thanks. Any other tips? Absolutely. There are a few non-pharmacological actions you can take that may help. For example, applying petroleum jelly around the nostrils in the morning can catch and prevent pollen from being inhaled. Additionally, try to stay indoors when pollen levels are high and shower as soon as possible after outdoor activities. Opt for drying your laundry inside or using a tumble dryer. When driving during pollen season, use recirculated air in the car to minimize exposure. Thanks for all this information. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Before you go here is a self-care card on hay fever management to assist you. If you have any concerns, don't hesitate to reach out.
And, as always, come back for a review if needed. Take care. In this scenario, we chose a corticosteroid nasal spray as the patient's symptoms included nasal congestion and are localized to the nasal passage. Additionally, hay fever symptoms can persist for several weeks, and nasonex allergy can be used for an extended duration to both treat and prevent allergy symptoms. What product did you choose and why? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.